Now we're gonna put in the shooting strings, going through the second sidewall hole, find about the halfway point of the string, and now we're gonna use a crisscross pattern. The one from the back is coming to the front, the one from the front is coming to the back. And pull it nice and tight, and we're gonna continue this pattern all the way across the head. You wanna have your top shooting string be the tightest, so this will be the last point that the ball touches before releasing from your head. Once you get to the end, use the back string to go through the empty sidewall hole, and then just tie off in a regular knot. Now we're going to skip one row of diamonds and put the second shooting string across. Since you don't have any open sidewall holes, you can use the space created by the sidewall string. And same thing, find about the halfway point and use that crisscross pattern all the way across. You want this shooting string to be just a little bit looser than the top one, as this will give you a nice smooth release. And same thing as before, once you get to the end, just tie off a simple knot. For our last shooting string, we're gonna put in what is called a V, or a U. Once again, we're gonna skip down one row, count in three diamonds, and that fourth one is where we're gonna start our U. We're gonna follow it all the way down, and use that last diamond that it's connected to, and we're gonna start coming up. And we're gonna follow this up to that fourth diamond. Once we get to that diamond, we're gonna now go across. And this is what's creating that U shape. And same thing, once you get to that fourth diamond, you're gonna now start coming back down. Once you get to that last one, once again, just tie it off.